newly introduced in Rising, Bravery Points give you extremely powerful options both on offense and on defense. Bravery points are the jewel-like icons above the health bars. You start every round with three of them, whether you use them or not, so you might as well use them. You spend bravery points by pressing medium and heavy at the same time. On screen right now are all the ways you can use or lose BP. We'll go through them one by one. Offensively, you can use your BP for what's called a Raging Strike. When used outside of a combo, Raging Strike acts as a guard break. That is to say, it's completely unblockable. Mid-screen on its own, Raging Strike doesn't really do much. It just kind of pushes your opponent away. However, on hit, you can press Raging Strike again to spend 25 meter and follow up your Raging Strike. This leaves your opponent crumpled, where you can get a full combo basically doing anything you want. Obviously, this means that avoiding Raging Strike is very important on defense. While very powerful, Raging Strike does have a very flashy animation and a pretty long startup, so you can always just punch your opponent out of it. You can also grab your opponent on startup. An option like jump can work, but you're risking a lot by doing that, so I don't recommend it. And backdashes will get caught. You always have your invincible options like DP and super, but usually the best option is just dodge it. Raging Strike has a different property if you do it while in a combo, Raging Chain. Raging Chain Axe is a combo extender, adding a high damage hit and bouncing the enemy up. Again, mid-screen on its own, this doesn't really accomplish much, as you can't typically combo out of this. In the corner, however, you can, making this a pretty easy way to get some extra damage to your combo. And like before, you can use the follow-up attack to get a full combo. You can even use Raging Chain multiple times in one combo, though they don't really bounce the same way the second time. It's important to remember that if you get hit by a Raging Strike, you do lose a Bravery Point. This doesn't apply to Raging Chain, thank you. Bravery points can be used on defense as well. Pressing medium and heavy wall in block stun gives you brave counter, pushing your opponent away from you. Be careful when you use brave counter, because if you're not in block stun, you will just get a raging strike. You can also do this to escape a raging strike that you've been hit by, spending 2 BP. Just make sure you get the input out before they do the follow-up. Last thing is supers. When you hit your opponent with a skybound art, you take one of their bravery points and you gain one back. Your super skybound art takes away too. So if you have your opponent in the corner and you know you're gonna end in a super, you might as well raging chain cause you're getting that bravery point back. But that's all the basics you need to know about bravery points. Hit the lab, see what kind of combos you can come up with, and if you're ever lost, look it up. There's plenty online. Stay safe, stay healthy, I'll see you when I see you.